Good morning everyone. It's a pleasure teaching you English during this lockdown. Today I'll be dealing with notice writing in my module. Well, before I begin uh, to teach you to write a notice, you should understand the need for under writing a notice. Why do we need to write a notice? Today time has become an issue. Nobody is ready to give you time. After five minutes they are going to switch off. You can see in your daily lives. We need to understand with just a symbol, a tick mark or even a word. You have been taught to write compositions in 200 to 250 words or 300 to 350 words for standard line. Other than write making you write and express yourself, where in these compositions you have learned how to express yourself, to put forward your good ideas, good thoughts, write good sentences. We also teach you now to write many things in few words. So, notice writing. Through notice writing, we are not only teaching you write many things in few words, but we are teaching you an important lesson of life of today. But today, of this day, the requirement for you now in this world is to speak or say in few words many things you have to put up in just few words. Even as you grow up, you, will, you, might, need, you might need people to say something, to convince, or even maybe to sell something if you are in the marketing. And at that moment, you need few words to tell many things. So we are going to do exactly this in the notice writing. And I would further like to give you an example. An example of, to just simplify, to make you understand why in few words we need to say many things. We need to actually grab the attention. A very simple example. Say you have come, think of a time when you, it's not lockdown and you have come from school very hungry, dead tired, you rush directly to kitchen to mummy and there you find mummy rushing with her cooking as dad is about for to come for lunch and he'll have his meals and rush back for work. So mummy is tensed, rushing through the kitchen, sorry, through the cooking and then you start off. Mummy, today I had sweeping turns. I came down late to the grounds for my lunch. A girl pushed me. I fell down and my tiffin fell and there was nothing left for with my friends for me to share. And on the other hand, you find your mother. She's still rushing with her cooking, tensed, preoccupied with her own cooking and you on the other side. Tears have already welled up in your eyes. The half, you're pained by a half-heard story. What could you have done and said instead of your long, woeful story? You could have just said, Mama, I am dying of hunger. Give me immediately to eat. And I'm very sure your mother would have managed to give you something or the other on your plate. And you would have managed in these few words to grab her attention and also your mother would have understood your state. So instead of the long woeful story, just a few words to tell many things. Okay, let's come to this few words in this notice writing. Say your school is hosting an art competition. Write a notice for your school to inform them of the event. The first and foremost thing I'll tell you. Okay, before this I start, I let you know the marks it carries. This notice writing carries five marks. It has a format. And the first and foremost thing you need to do is give a creative, catchy title. Now the event is art competition. A creative, catchy title could have been Citroen Draw, Palette, Rainbow, Splash of Colors. Another one I have for you.
heart attack and mark your punctuation full stop if it would have been a debate it could have been war of words and if a quiz what's the word question mark so take care of your punctuation because the meaning changes if your punctuation is not correct so the punctuation has a great role to play so what's the word question mark it's a quiz competition and you have to give this title in just one or two words creative and catchy and for this you get one mark the next thing is okay art attack now what is this art attack it is an art competition which you know from the question most of you are just going to pick up from the question and paste it here here you have got another opportunity to be creative instead you can write diamond jubilee art competition or say Silver Jubilee Art Competition. Now the next thing, and this also gives you one mark for your creativity here. Silver Jubilee Art Competition. Now when is this art competition? Now when I am teaching you this, we are not only teaching you to write the date. We are teaching you an important, powerful lesson of courtesy. You just can't invite if it had been an inter-school art competition the next day. You need to give them time, even for your school. Say about two weeks. If the schools are out of the town, still further more time, three weeks. But today is 3rd May, so let us take it to be 14th May. Okay, we are done with the date. Now what with the time? One more thing I would like to caution you children. You all know that before noon, it is before 12, it is a.m. Anti-meridian and after noon, after 12, even one second afternoon is p.m. Post-meridian. And instead of writing a.m., most of you write a.m.m. So take care by writing your time. And this also gives you one mark. Half and half one mark for writing it correctly. Now, where is this? Where is this art competition? It's in the art room, say St. Mary's High School, from smaller to bigger. Had it been a debate competition, Centenary Hall, Dinaudi School, Science Exhibition, Physics Lab, Carmel High School, so from smaller to bigger. Smaller to bigger art room, St. Mary's High School. Now, this also gives you one mark. Half and half one for writing it correctly. So, we are done with four marks. And we are left with only one mark, which is important now. You know it's an art attack. What is that art attack? A civil jubilee art competition. When it is, where it is, so what? 
have your response. And only one correct sentence. Grammatically correct. All pupils are required to register their names with their art teacher. Registered with, register with, enrolled with, give up your names to. So the correct usage of preposition. Correct, grammatically correct sentence, appropriate words. Had it been a singing competition, it would have been for addition. Sports, it would have been heats. So, one grammatically correct sentence and this gives you another one mark and we are done with five marks of the notice. It's easy but you need to practice. Drill yourself. And for that you need to keep ready and practice the creative catchy titles for events. So, as an, for an assignment I would suggest you children Take up your school diary. There are a lot of events throughout the year. Write a creative catchy event for, sorry, a title for every event. Another assignment you can take in a playway method. You can play with your friends or anyone in the house who is interested, brothers and sisters. One party gives you the event and the other one provides a creative catchy event. So keep practicing as an assignment and it is and remember the format, the correct format and the way to write I've shown you on the board. I'll zoom it for you and that will easily give you five marks. So children, before I end, I would like to tell you, we miss you children. Hope to see you soon after this blows off. Thank you.